finish the show of the year with the 15th annual Slays Championship. Oh. The height of stupidity. Then you're off to a romantic week on Tropical Hamilton Island. And they just had to do it. Well, this must be all section right? Toyota presents Fast Forward 8.30 Thursday. Which naturally bred food is high in protein and so low in fat it now gets the Heart Foundation stick of approval? Is it a Steggles? Yes. Steggles Lean Chicken Portions. At Rama Pattern Play, concrete paving with all the character and style of slate, brick, cobblestone and tile. It's ideal for driveways, verandas, for gelders and pathways, plus commercial car parks and roadways too. With a bigger range and it's all on show, lots of colors and styles, so be sure to go and see at Rama Pattern Play today. Visit the display sites at Marston, Marion, or Elizabeth South. Panorama Pattern Play, the original, and still the best. UV Triple Guard with three way action. Remains effective against UV radiation, even after two hours in the water. A missing husband returns after 10 years. But his secret could be her. Would you trust him? Long journey home tonight. The Australian Diamond Jewellery Award designs are a special design. Right throughout Australia, jewellers get together and the very top come up with the very top designs. This morning we have Lauren Balfour of Inchry, who is a very special diamond, uh, well, brain, I guess. We're going to pick his brain. Who the hell was watching this show back in the 90s? It's like 1990, 1991. Thanks for joining us this morning. Touch of elegance. Fuck. What glistens is the pageant queen. Rebecca Clark joins us. Rebecca I used to go, this girl here, Rebecca Clark, we used to catch a train with her, a bus with her. To, uh, to the pageant on Saturday. Mm. And congratulations on your win, Rebecca. Tell us all about it. Um, well, the announcement of pageant queen was made last Tuesday. Prior to that, each store, each of the six stores, including Lockleys, um, chose a pageant princess. And from... Uh, the pageant princesses, we then had an interview last Monday to see who would become pageant queen, and that was announced Tuesday. So, so you obviously came through with flying cars, Rebecca? Um, I wouldn't say that, I'd say it would be very close. But... I had a rather grueling interview, actually. I was on the panel, and we asked them all sorts of international questions, and it's not just, are you a preface, and do you work for John Martins? It's quite a, a grueling 20 minute interview, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> so, apart, so apart from the, the pageant on Saturday, are there other duties for the pageant queen? Uh, yes, between the pageant and Christmas time, there are a number of visits um, to places such as the Julia Farr Centre and the Children's Hospital and the nursing homes <laughs> and the Minder Home places. So There's John the Martin. But I rang you the other day and you were at work at Westlex. That's right. That's yes. right. <laughs> so nice. The shoes for the kiddies go and see Rebecca Clark when she's not in her official duty as pageant queen for this year. So there we are, receiving the... Uh, the Rebecca's talking to her mum here, I remember her saying. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day on Saturday. Is this going to be your first pageant? Um, second, actually. I was in the pageant last year. Oh, so what were you doing last year? Um, I was eclipsed. I'm the Calypso Capers float. Calypso um, Capers. Yes, in an outfit that included a headpiece full of feathers and feathers around my waist. It was fun. What was the best part about being in the pageant? Just the atmosphere. The drugs. I think, with the streets lined with people and... And everybody's really happy well, and excited to be there. Do you see the faces of the children? Yeah. No! That, that's the best part. <laughs> How happy not. they are, waiting for Father Christmas to come. So. <laughs> and this year, you'll be up there in the pageant queen float with the princesses all around mm -hmm. you. That's right. So I think it'll be just more exciting this year. That's right. Well, there's stunning, isn't it? There's the last year's gowns. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, really lovely. Nice. And uh, there's last year's. No one cares about last she's year. Yeah, she's also from Westminster. Yeah, she's been very lucky. They've produced some beautiful pageant princesses. Yes, and, and another one, Rebecca Clark. So, uh, Rebecca, congratulations. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.
<laughs> so it's coughing in the background. That's absolutely that's not the bakery choice. That's absolutely not. And that's the tradition oh, of John on. Martin's State Bank Christmas yep. pageant. So we were turn out on Saturday. John Martin's and State Bank. Bank. All gone. It's going to shine. It has to be like guess I was going to say. Rebecca, thanks for joining us. Thank good you. to see you. Good, good choice. Good. Okay. Thank you. Best of luck. Back to Gabriel. It's a cruise boat and gives you a chance to cruise the beautiful waterways of West Lakes. They're having lots of different functions and it's a wonderful way to go. What about a Melbourne Cup lunch cruise? It's only $20 a head and uh, there are still a few seats available. There's also one hour scenic cruises, $7 adults, $4 for children and group Christmas lunches, $11 per head and that includes roast turkey, ham, plum pudding and brandy sauce as well, tea and coffee and Christmas dinners cruises from $20 to $50. So you could get a club together or, uh, you know, if you have a parent and friend group that you want to arrange something special, 20 to $50 depending. It's across the breakaway republic. Merry Costa Keaters. Woo! Woo!